All right, we're getting into the specialty stuff, the specialty speakers. Uh, I just can't, uh, I can't let it go. I need to have these in my life at some place, uh, out by the pool, in a wash bay, somewhere. Uh, we've you know, sold a bunch of these and done these in several applications. You know, wash bays, where it you know, makes a lot of sense. But these are Dynaudio's version. We'll also be likely carrying PSB on the, on the, on the lower end, the lower, lower cost side of things. Um, but they, these are the two different sizes that both come in each color, but I just got the blacks out and the eight inch and the whites out and the six and a half, but they, you know, they come, they, they, they come either way from, um, on, on either size. Uh, and so what you have is pretty simple here. We've got a one inch tweeter, same one inch tweeter in both. Uh, I'm not sure they don't publish what the tweeter is. You know, the Dynaudio has so many different tweeters. I mean, th this is going to be some version of a silk dome, uh, but these are IP65 rated, so it's a sealed um, waterproof or at least heavily water resistant um, uh, speaker design for you know outdoor applications. So they're rated to be, you know, out in the elements. Um, I think you know anytime you put an outdoor speaker in direct sunlight and you know, they don't last as long but you could technically you know, put it out there usually you're gonna put these under a soffit or in a, in a lanai or a, in our case in garages in a, in a wash bay or if you have a really humid a garage and you're concerned about your speakers um, you you could do these instead of a, a regular bookshelf just know you know it's a plastic case um, the tweeter is is weather treated the woofers weather treated uh, so these never will never sound as good as like a you know a wooden boxed uh, speaker and just to keep it in mind I had in my dedicated wash bay um, at the at the last house of uh, the pole barn uh, the um, that I had a pair of like high gloss piano black uh, Dynaudio Excites, which are totally indoor speakers that were out there, and that that would change temperature. I'd come out the walls, and the cabinets would have dew all over them, uh, and they lasted for years. And I sold those, and somebody's still listening them to to them today. So you don't have to do these uh, if you're even even if you have a humid garage. But if you're concerned about it, this is one way to go. The other nice thing about these is they do come with a, a wall bracket. Um, that's really easy to to uh, to install, uh, so and you could very easily hit a stud with this, or uh, I guess you could do drywall drywall anchors. But I like to try to hit a stud if I could, you know, because these aren't super super light. Uh, so the way these work, if you look at the back, um, the eight inch version. So this is a one inch tweeter, eight inch woofer, one inch tweeter, six and a half inch woofer on the OW sixes. So the way these work is that you have a, uh, a it's a little flathead, a little baby like eyeglass type flathead um, screwdriver. You'll unscrew those. You pop off your um, uh, your connection. Uh, these are a 70 to 7100 volt um, type speaker as well. I don't even know what that means. That's some commercial distributed audio uh, system that I've never encountered in my you know, many, many decades of playing with and selling audio stuff. Uh, so, you know, those of you guys who do, you know, hotels and things like that, that's where this comes in. Uh, in our case, we're not going to use this type of, um, of option, so we're going to set it to... Uh, set it to the what is it uh, the the L, uh, low Z version uh, is where we're going to set that switch, uh, but the um, the connections here this is really designed to accept 16 gauge wire. I've jammed some 12 gauge in there, uh, but you'll pop this little this little puppy up here. The reason why there's two positives and two negatives is because you would you know in a 70 to 100 volt system you would do uh, you would daisy chain them you know from one to the next. We're not going to do that in our environment. We're going to run a stereo connection. Uh, these are a nominal uh, 8 ohm speaker, so their average impedance is 8 ohms on both sides. Um, so you can run it on pretty much any any amplifier. Um, they're looking for a continuous 60 watts uh, or you know peaks of you know 300. I've run these with a continuous you know 250 watt amplifier. The more you give them, the better they sound. Um, as long as you have clean audio, uh, you're not going to blow them up. Uh, the more the more you get to them, the better off you're going to be. So if you were going to mount it to the wall. You would take this threads into the back here, and you have a set nut, you know, the little, or a locking nut. It would lock it in place. Uh, once you get the speaker angled in the direction you want, then you would lock down your your hex here. I think it's a six millimeter, maybe. 
five millimeter hex. You would lock down your ball. Always take your goofy sticker off of there as well so you don't have to see it. Um, and then they also have a ceiling um, connection. That, that they obviously have a black one. So depending on where your speaker wire is coming from, um, this, this is how you keep your, your wire sealed up and that you have your strain relief or your, your, your connection point here to, to lock down and uh, make sure your wire is sealed. Uh, and so if you are doing this in, a, in, a, in, an, act, in an exterior outdoor environment, you would want to use your, your plate. Black ones come with the black and white comes with the white, but they come with a pair of those as well. So again, sound on these, um, I'm in love with the Dyne Audio signature sound, you know, that smooth, you know, silk dome um, 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 setup. I, I, these are both sold, so somebody had bought these, so I didn't want to rip the grills off of, but I have taken the grill off. You know, the woofer and tweeter is different. Uh, they don't publish what's different about it, other than it's, you know, weather treated. Um, these do sound similar to pretty much all the Dyn Audio stuff. Uh, I would highly suggest, even though it costs a lot more, I would highly suggest that you get the eight inch version, unless you absolutely have to. You know, the six and a half is just a little lean. These play down to 78 hertz, this plays down to 70. So I also like these much more with a subwoofer. If you're doing something like the sub RCC, if you're doing an in-wall sub in your wash bay, or you get get yourself uh, you know one of the other you know, one of the other Dyn Audio subs or uh, you know an SVS or something like that. Uh, but I think that um, I think you really want a subwoofer to get the most out of these. You know, even in your pool deck, let's try to get a subwoofer somewhere uh, to help round out the sound uh, and round out your your audio experience. But um, these work great, like amazingly well. Pair it with a, uh, a Blue Sound uh, power node like this. So get yourself a power node and a pair of OW8s, uh, and you got yourself a pretty awesome little combination. You, know, you set these things up, they're clearly not designed to sit on the table. They need to be mounted. Um, but these, these things are freaking great when you power, you know, put this together. Uh, have this somewhere in your closet, like in your pool closet or something like that, uh, and then you can power your, your 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 outdoor stuff. If you need some help doing, you know, multiple multiple pairs, we can help you with that as well. Um, I'm doing generally the NAD distributed audio stuff, so they have you know, multi-zone, multi-channel amplifiers. Uh, it's really a great setup. Like these, I'm going to do a bunch of these on my pool deck uh, with a bunch of uh, in-wall subwoofers when we build my house. And um, that is going to be um, all, all powered by uh, an NAD uh, network, uh, Blue, Blue OS multi-zone system. So it can run different music in different areas. Uh, we can help you set that up. Let's say you're building a big garage and you wanna do multiple zones of speakers all over the place. We can help you figure that out as well. So, uh, but if you just need a nice little combination, you need some very easily wall mountable speakers and you're in your climate changing or maybe not your, maybe your pole barn or your, your area around the house uh, get to what's get you a, a blue sound power node uh, or some sort of NAD amplifier and uh, and change your life these things are freaking cool so again buy yourself some bookshelves if we're in a normal environment but these need to be in the store for these uh, uh, these applications that I'm talking about where we have some uh, humidity and and mounting issues uh, because these are really easy to mount so Thanks for your support. Go to obsessgarage.com. Hit us up, uh, design at obsessgarage.com if you're building something awesome and you need us to design it for you. Uh, or even if we've already done designs or help you with other things, you just need some help with audio, you can always hit me up, Matt at obsessgarage.com or Manny's team if you have just general questions. Support at obsessgarage.com, the tech support team. Um, the pricing on these, uh, I forget, I think there's like 800 and 1100 or something like that. Uh, the pricing, I'm sure, is going to go up or at the end of 2021. Um, but uh, just go to the obsessgarage.com for the current pricing on them. Uh, they are very, very expensive in the world of, uh, of uh, um, outdoor speakers, uh, but I think that they're, that price is justified. They, they have the Dyn Audio signature and all that comes with the, the, having a Dyn Audio speaker uh, and an IP65 rated you know, weatherproof or weather resistant type, type design. So thanks for your support. And uh, yeah, we'll keep, uh, keep updating on all the audio stuff that we have available. See you soon.